Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. You've reached Knit LA. My name is Andrea and I am a knitter and a crocheter and a fiber artist and a painter and a mom. So happy early Mother's Day. This has been a really strange week and I'm just gonna get right into how strange this week has been because we all got sick with COVID and I was like the last tree in the forest to fall. And um, yeah, it's just been a lot to have us all home and sick, which also coincided with the arrival of my older daughter from her year abroad. So, really terrible timing. She actually wound up staying somewhere else. <sighs> but we're all reunited. We're all healthy now. It's Saturday. And um, I'm so glad I had a moment to uh, do a little filming because um, I missed my usual Thursday, Thursday morning routine. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, I'm so happy to be here and I'm so grateful to everybody that participated in the comment section from the previous video because holy mackerel, there were so many incredible suggestions, not even suggestions, but like favored patterns, favorite patterns. Um, there were a couple that really emerged like one is the Vertices Unite by Stephen West, that shawl, which now I have to make. And like a, people made multiples of those shawls, which is pretty awesome. And then the artist shawl was another one that like everybody, m many people shared how much they loved that shawl. So, <clears throat> and I can relate to that. But also like patterns I've, seriously have never heard of. So I, um, I'm, I'm just grateful to have heard from everybody and, um, I'm going to announce the winners at the end. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, for those of you who are just joining, who aren't aware, um, I celebrated my one year podcast anniversary last podcast a couple weeks ago. So in honor of the space and the community that's being built here, I really wanted to um, give some gifts from my beautiful collection, right? We're calling them collections now. So that's what's happening. And that'll happen at the very end. I will announce um, the skeins are actually uh, already wrapped. So um, but if you want a refresher, you can head on over to that previous video to see what's going on. So, oh my gosh. Well, I did make a little video for those who follow me on Instagram. This is the Muscari. This is my most recent finished uh, garment. It is a beautiful sweater design by Midori Hirose. And I knit mine in uh, Derurum Natura Gilead, which is their worsted weight. And I believe this is called Poivre, which I think means pepper, P-O-I-V-R-E, French. Um, and it is definitely been worn. I'll just try and stand up here. I'm in a different, I'm filming in a different place, so. Anyway, it's basically, it's a pretty simple design sweater. It's a gorgeous lace pattern yoke in the shape of Muscari. Um, and then, you know, a sweater down below. But what I love so much is the lace. There's a lot of asymmetry in the design purposefully, which if you've been here for a while, you know that I'm into those those asymmetrical details, I think make things super interesting. And um, also I just thought this was such a sweet design. It's so simple, but it um, I love the neckline. So it's designed with like a 
it's not really a mock turtle, but it definitely sits high on the neck, which I think is super flattering at this age. <laughs> anyway, and the whole shaping of the sweater is just super nice. And they, she writes it for short sleeves or long sleeves. So I sort of just did something in between. Um, three quarter length sleeves. And this yarn is incredible. I've never used it. This is my first time and it is bouncy, soft, warm, light. So checks a lot of those boxes for a great, great sweater. All right, I'm gonna scoot back now because <clears throat> I feel like I'm very close. I had to reorient myself because the light is so strange in Los Angeles. It's like very cloudy and gray and yeah. So anyway, so while I was sick, honestly, since I have finished my gorgeous Linnea shawl, I have been in a really strange knitting space, like one I have not experienced before. And that is that I'm just, it's like, <laughs> I, I'm just not over the experience, the incredible like experience of knitting it and, and having the finished object. And it's not been, I, I haven't moved on, <laughs> which sounds really hilarious, but, and it's, this is the first time that has ever happened to me, but I just love that shawl so much. And I loved the process of making that shawl and all these choices I made about the little new to dim blossoms. And I just was, I'm just not ready to cast a new shawl on. So my striation Valley shawl is still going to be my next shawl. That's a design by Stephen West and I have all the yarn, but I don't know. I just haven't been able to, <laughs> to move forward. I'm still kind of, you know, kind of having my love affair with the Linnea shawl. I don't know. Let me know if you understand that. This has certainly never happened to me before. Um, but yeah, I'm just not ready to move on. Um, so in the meantime, also I was feeling kind of, last week I was feeling especially crummy. Um, and I watched a really cute video by Summer Lee and she offered a recipe on that video for uh, faded shorty socks. So I made a faded shorty sock and this is so, this was so much fun to make. I used um, <clears throat> all kinds of yarn. I think the top yarn is Farmer's Daughter Fibers. I think they're all, no, 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 sorry. Top one is Moondrake. And then the middle and the toe are both Farmer's Daughter Fibers from their sock squad last year or 2020. Two? No, 2023. And anyway, it's just a really simple sock and you kind of fade it. And I sort of followed her directions for fading, which she does, um, you know, it's sort of a randomized recipe. Um, and I think it came out really sweet. And these are actually a gift. So I still have the second one to make, but um, these are gonna be a gift. And then the yarn is so soft. And I made these on a size zero needle. And I have to say, like, I wanted them to be sort of a more snug fabric. And they are really nice. And they fit on my foot. I was a little worried they look so small, but the person that I'm making them for actually has an even smaller foot than I do. So, yeah. So that is um, Summer Lee on her YouTube channel. She offers this free recipe. Um, and it, it's really fun. I just cast it on and like, it, this was done in, you know, a few days. Also shorty socks are kind of a revelation because wow, you don't, it takes a lot less time, like half the amount of time. So anyway, but they're, they're really cute and um, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to have made these and, and thinking about the person that they're going to 
it's an extra bonus. So I've also been working on my Kutar top and I finished, let's see if I can. So um, last week I shared that I am making the Kutar top by Sari Nordlin. It's a very sweet, beautiful camisole with this absolutely gorgeous lace pattern. I don't even know if you can see the lace pattern. It's really hard to, to see it. I'm trying to see. But it's a very pretty design. Um, so basically I finished the first piece. Um, this is knit on a size three, US size three needle. Um, and I just started on the back, which I think I might have to redo because I realized I used the wrong needle. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful lace chart that is all very clearly marked and, um, you know, it looks wonky in the beginning as usual, lace usually does, but then it just comes out so beautifully. So this is like, I'm very excited to have this and I, I really would like to have it this summer. So I'm trying to pay attention and work with this. I'm also working with a gorgeous yarn um, that I have never used, which is from Moondrake and it's their um, linen merino blend. So this is um, in the colorway navy and it is so soft. It's so soft and it's such an incredible color. Like I, I would hardly call this navy because it's got a lot of um, just, there's so much depth in here. Um, and the lace looks really pretty. And so the, <clears throat> the yarn is, I think it's mostly merino. Yeah, 90% superwash merino and 10% linen. Um, but it is a beautiful yarn and I could totally see making, using this, um, for lots of things. It's drapey. It feels, I can't wait to block this. Um, anyway, it's a really nice yarn and I know they're having a 10% off this weekend because she has opened a shop. Congratulations. Um, so that might be a good time to try it out for yourself. And I am using the Kutar top only takes, I think 800 yards in my size. What size am I doing? <laughs> I don't remember. I am doing, I think the third size. Shoot, I don't have it. Um, hmm. I'm doing the second or the third size. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so this is a nice knit. And I keep thinking about summer and how warm it's going to be and how nice it's going to be to be able to wear something knitted in the summer, like on a summer evening. But check out the yarn. 10% off this weekend, even online. I thought that was really, really cool. Another thing I'm working on that I've shown here, which is really kind of, <laughs> it's not a slog, but it's good for you know, TV knitting and things. So this is the Trinigan. It is like a sweater coat designed by Andrea Mowry. And um, right now I'm still slugging away, slogging away, slugging away at the body, the body piece, which is pretty large. Like I was looking at this thinking, what size am I doing in this? It is the third size. Um, you know, for me, I love sort of an oversized kind of thing. And I love how it's, how it's knitting up. Um, it's a really beautiful mosaic, kind of poofy texture. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. It's really, really beautiful. This is the inside. This is where you can see the, the old man coyote, which is um, one of the yarns that I'm using. So 
The main color yarn is West Yorkshire Spinners, Jacob's Fleece, Jacob Fleece or Jacob's. Um, it is really rustic and crunchy, but I think perfect for the sweater, for what I intend or how I intend to wear it. Um, it's going to give this sweater a lot of body and that's what I want. So it's the, this color is, I don't know, it's one, it's a natural color. I think they're all natural actually. It's a medium brown. And then this is the Old Man Coyote colorway from Farmer's Daughter Fibers, which I got last year. I got one skein in a, an indigenous collective, um, month subscription and I got one and I was like oh my god I have to see if they have more it's the most beautiful color and this is very special yarn like this is not yarn I don't think it's not a base that they have all the time although maybe they do now but it is 50% local U.S. alpaca and 50% organic merino and it is a worsted weight and it's called Old Man Coyote, which I love that name so much. And it's actually quite soft. It's soft. So, um, and has some variation in the, in, the, in the yarn, the tones. So it's, I have to knit 18 inches <laughs> of body before anything else happens. And I think I might be like halfway there, but there's a lot of stitches on here. So it kind of takes a while, it takes a while, but I'm excited because I know it's, I know that the end result is going to be wonderful. And it's always nice to have something to knit on while I'm watching. Although I could not knit during the most recent show that we watched, which I don't even know if I should talk about. Um, Maybe I won't. Okay. <laughs> uh, another thing that I'm working on, I decided, this was while I was sick, I've had this pattern called the Mini Max blanket pattern. Um, this is like what it looks like. And maybe you've seen this on Ravelry, but it's, it's a beautiful sort of patchwork um, design that you can use tons of your scraps and there's someone I follow on Instagram her uh, Instagram name is Katka Courage and I'm going to be putting everything that I talk about in the links below the video but she has made three of these blankets already and each one is just as beautiful as the next and you know she just kind of assembles a bunch of um, leftover scraps into a basket and starts knitting. So I started mine. It's a really simple knit too. Um, so I just started mine during my sickness. And these are all just yarns I have sort of left over. Now you will notice that <laughs> my, my triangles are not exactly even. <laughs> um, what I've what I'm learning during this first panel is that you know not all <laughs> my gauge is really kind of wildly different um, depending on the yarn I'm using. So um, the needle size is a size nine, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's a US nine, a five point five millimeter needle. So that's really nice. Um, and it calls for like a fingering, I believe, and a mohair, or maybe it's a DK and a mohair. Um, because my, my scraps are all different sizes, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of doing it. And I'm not sure on this one that I, on this panel that I care that much about their, how precise they are. But I think, you know, maybe the two side panels I will care more about. But this has been a really nice project and it's it's really fun to just find these little balls of yarn 
and start putting them together. So I recommend this. This is a really nice, mellow, it's super portable. Um, you know, I actually am carrying it around in a basket around my house because I, I do have quite a bit of yarn in there, but you could throw in, you know, a few, a few scraps and this and you can knit anywhere. So I'm really enjoying that. It's called Mini Mat, the Mini Max by Pia Trons. And I will have a link to that below. Um, but it's just like a gentle, it's a nice blanket. And I already have two blankets in process that you all know about. Uh, you know, continued viewers will know that I already have two blankets. But what really appealed to me about this blanket is the pattern. Like, the other two blankets are just sort of so random that they, they almost feel like infinite. <laughs> They're infinitely long. Whereas this has a, has a specific pattern and a specific set number of triangles, um, et cetera. So I'm really enjoying this and I highly recommend this as a way to figure out what what to do with all these little half skeins or quarter skeins or mini skeins, you know, that you have in your collection. So I love, I love, I'm really enjoying making this. And it's so fun to assemble colors and figure all that out. So that is the, the Mini Max blanket. And then I have a new cast on, which doesn't look like much at this moment, but I have to show you the bag I'm using because just, do I need to say any words about this bag? Hi. This is a little bag that I saw on, her name is Julia. She works with Amy Gill um, at La Bien Aimé and she had a gorgeous little uh, bag that she was showing and this company is called Kuro Neko, and it's, she is a Spanish um, maker. And I just fell in love, first of all, with the colors, like sort of a beigey and a very hot neon color. And then the construction, like, look at this. It's one of, it, it's got those like, um, So it opens like so. And then it sits on your table like a beautiful open basket. I think is, this is super, super genius construction. I don't know what these are. They must be something that goes in purses that like clasp up, but this is a brilliant construction. So um, I'll link her below. She, I think, basically takes orders through Instagram. Um, I mean, I just think this is precious. And I got, of course I got two. <sighs> but inside is a new cast on. And I've shared this designer with you before. Her name is Miki Teragaki. Tekagaki, wait. Miki Teragaki, I was right. And it's called the Campanella Shawl. And I hope I have a photo of it. Oh, I don't think I do. Um, it's a really sweet little, here's a kind of a photo. Let's see if you can see that. Um, it's the same designer that um, designed the little collar that I made for my sister, my sister's birthday. And you can't really see anything except that I've just kind of cast it on. And it's a one skein project, um, which is really nice because I really didn't have to commit too much. And the yarn, um, people make this in all different kinds of, of things. It's really hard to see. But it's a really easy lace pattern that repeats and repeats. And um, the yarn is what is really exciting about it too, because I've had this yarn for a long time in my stash. It's a Madeline Tosh Singles. And it's this beautiful, it's 
skein that has like all these funny blips of color. There's like neon green, um, there's blues, there's yellows, and it also has just like a teeny tiny bit of Stellina uh, in it. So, you know, I'm really enjoying knitting with it. Um, it's, the, the yarn feels really good. So it's Madeline Tosh, TML, Tosh Merino Light, plus Holo, Holo, Holographic, I think. Superwash Merino, Stellina. Um, and it's just, I don't know how old this is or how long I've had it. I think a few years, but I'm really happy to be using it. And I tell you, when I get to like these little pops of the neon green, I just think they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. So the check out the shawl. It's a it's a nice, I think it'll be really nice for summer. It's very light. It's um I think a small a small shawlette. But it has a beautiful kind of wavy ruffle that's um I think you pick up after you finish the main body, which is a uh Kind of in the shape of a triangle, small triangle, um, lace pattern. And it's it's just a very sweet design. And um, yeah, it, it works, it works for me. I was really struggling this, like while I was sick because I just haven't known what I want to make. Honestly, like, I, I mean, I know what I want to make, but I just, it, I just wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for a new shawl. So, you know, a little sock project, a little shawlette. Also, this bad boy, which um, I know I'm gonna be so happy I worked on because I want to wear it all fall and all winter. So, um, you know, I'm glad to be giving it uh, my attention now. <sighs> so yeah. That is my story. It's not quite as long as I usually ramble on and on, but um, I do want to take a moment to read off the winners of the special skeins from my stash to yours. I'm sorry, my collection to you. And these were, oops, randomly selected by my daughter. She did a you know, she would sort of like just roll it up and then point. <laughs> so these are them and I'm just so thrilled. So the first winner is at Heather Woods 4012. At Heather Woods 4012. So the deal is if I read your name or your your account number or whatever it is, your account name, um, please go to Instagram and send me a DM letting me know that's you and um, send me your mailing address and I will get those off to you next week. So the second winner is at C Evans, which I think is Candace Evans. So hi Candace. Um, that was, that's exciting. And the third person to receive a beautiful skein uh, from Posh Yarns is Eleanor underscore Mill City Knit. That's Eleanor underscore Mill City Knit. So don't send me any information here. The safest way is to message me privately on Instagram. And um, my Instagram is at Andrea underscore SoCal Knitter. Um, thanks so much for, to everyone for leaving such great comments. And I have a list of patterns that um, I'm slowly going through Ravelry, looking through all of these. And some of the designers I've never heard of either, which is wonderful. Um, and it's just fun to hear what everybody's knitting. Um, it's really cool. And some of you said you were gonna be at Flock, so I really am excited to cross paths in person there. Um, 
Next weekend is the Los Angeles Yarn Crawl, which I'm definitely going to be participating in, and I don't know my route yet. I am going to go on Saturday and Sunday possibly too. So um, I'm super excited about that. Um, so all of you SoCal knitters, um, I'd love to know when you're planning on being where and what shops you're going to be checking out. Um, like I said, I have not pl planned a route yet, but it would be so much fun to uh, meet you all in real life. So in real life. Anyway, thank you so much as always for joining and um, stay healthy. And for all of you moms of anything and anyone, what do I wanna say? It's just be nurturing to yourself. And you know, we're all so like, I think programmed to take care of everybody and everything um, and it's harder to turn that kind of energy inward but it's so critical and um, I can say at this age I understand how important that is that kind of self care and um, nurturing so do that and I'll see you all in the next video all right thank you Bye.